Hello friends, I warmly welcome you to tutorial number 11 where we're going to be talking about the Citicon SQL progress bar. So if you haven't subscribed to this documentation series, I invite you please to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified each time I post a new video. So in this tutorial number 11, we're going to be discussing the Citicon SQL progress bar. So we're going to see how we can use this uh, beautiful progress bar within our project. So it is named Citicon Circle Progress Bar because as you can see from its shape, it's a radial. So before we do anything, let's run our project to see the appearance of this radial or circle progress bar. Let's give it a moment. There it is. So I'm going to make some customizations and see how we can use this in our program so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to customize the inner color so the inner color is this blue that you see right there we're going to mesh the inner color with the background color and we're going to change the value from 0 to 65 there you have we're going to change the four color as well to black so that we can see the percentile is it increases or decreases accordingly let's change the progress color to a gradient progress color which is more beautiful than this uh, solid color so i'm going to put the bottom color is blue now going to apply the top color is Funchisia. So there you see. We're also going to change the starting cap and ending cap of the progress so that it can be a bit uh, presentable. We're going to change it to round and we're going to change the starting cap to round. There you see. So let's start the project and see the result. So this is a very beautiful progress radio progress bar i'm sure you may agree with me that this can be used whenever you want to use a circle progress you can use this beautiful customization another feature that we have with this control is the animated feature so we can set the animation to true and we can run the project to see what happens as you can see right there the animation is on and the progress is animated and the value does not change but the animation is in progress as you can see that from five percent right up to around 45 percent funchisia is applied but from 45 percent right up to close to 90 percent the blue color is applied so as the animation continues we can see this beautiful radio gradient being applied throughout the progression which makes it visually appealing so some of the use cases of this feature is when you are creating a please wait dialogue or a processing dialogue what you would do in this case is to set the full color to white so that the full color is invisible therefore you can run the progress bar and allow the user to to see that a pro, a pro a process is happening in the background they have to wait until the process completes but what i prefer the most is to include the progress and write the percentage of the progress for example you may be creating a download application or anything that uh, gets files or some data from server or any process that may take a while the users uh, would uh, would want to know if possible the time they have to wait until the process completes of course this is good for user experience sometimes it may not be necessary but it is recommended for good user experience so these are some of the cases where we may need to in include this um, percentage value so that the user may know at what point uh, the progress is and how many 
percentile left before the process completes. Let's turn off the animation. Before we turn off, I would like to show you that we have the animation speed where you can increase or decrease the speed. So 0 0.1 uh, makes the animation go very slow while 1 makes the animation go very fast. So let's stick to 0 0.5 and the animation proceeds at an average pace. We can even set the animation backwards as you can see or forward as you can see right there. So let's turn off the animation. Another feature that we have here is the gradient mode. You can toggle and see the gradient mode that is being applied right there. One of my favorite uh, gradient modes is this backward diagonal where the starting and the ending cap are applied the first color as you can see which is blue while the rest of the progress is applied to the second color which makes it visually appealing. You can also set the maximum and the minimum value. For example, the maximum could be 1000. And as you can see, the 6% has decreased significantly. And you can animate this. So it will, uh, the progress will run around the radio inner progress. Or you can disable the animation. So you can set the maximum or the minimum value. So let's change from 65 to 650. And you can set the minimum to 500. And let's see what happens. There you have it. The minimum has been set to 500. The maximum, six, um, the maximum is 1000. And the current value is 650. So there are some changes applied right there. But I prefer to keep the minimum to zero. But depending on your needs, you may need to change the minimum depending on your design needs. So these are some of the cool uh, properties that we have there that you can change and uh, play around with. We have this shadow decoration where it can be applied. The hub or the parent will be given this uh, shadow as you can see right there. It is uh, one of the designs where if you want a shadow to be applied to the parent of the progress bar, maybe to allow the user to see the visual bounds of the parent, you can use the shadow. But in most cases, I usually keep this off so that I can have a very clean and consistent background of the control and the background of the parent. So let's turn the shadow decoration to false. As you can see, now we have a consistent background color. Another cool feature I would like to show you is uh, the progress thickness. We can change the progress thickness. For example, we can put 10 and we can change the the fill thickness and we can set 10. There we can see a beautiful uh, thinner progress, radio progress bar right there. So these are some of the cool features that we have uh, within this uh, control. It's one of the controls that is used by developers to create some progress and display progress to the user, especially when a, a time-consuming task is running in another thread and you want the user to be notified the progress of that task. You may use this radial. It's much preferred than the uh, horizontal but depending on your need sometimes you may need to use the horizontal but if you prefer the radial this is one of the cool uh, controls that we have right there in the library so you can see here the few color is um, is uh, right there and it supports the transparency background so we can change from uh, 200 to 20 we are now changing the alpha value of the few color and when we when I enter you can see that the few color is almost transparent and when I set 240 for example it's now visible so the few color supports the alpha channel which means there is um, a compatibility with transparency so you can set this to zero it will still work and you can still enable animation 
and the value will still be animated and the progress will be shown everything will be working perfectly right so these are some of the cool features that we have right there you can even add an image to the to the progress Let, let's see there it is and let's try to hide the value let's see let's disable the value show percentile is set to true let's set it to false there you go so we have uh, hidden the show percentage value and now we can see the background image so these are some of the things that you can uh, create when you are using the Citicon circle progress bar or radio progress bar so thank you friends for joining me my name is Russell Chidakwa I'm a software developer working for Citicon framework and I'm part of their development team so if you like this video please go ahead and share with your friends and you can also comment below and subscribe to the channel for further videos so in our next video we're going to be looking at the color transition component this is one of the most used component we have in our library so we're going to be looking at this color transition component and how you can use it until then happy coding cheers